have all heard some absolutely incredible 9-11 conspiracy theories. The web, of course, is full of them. But tonight, we're bringing one out that feeds on racism. This 9-11 attack was not by 19 Arabs. It was not by Muslims. They talk about a Jewish plot. Everywhere you look, you find a Zionist agent. A conspiracy by Israeli intelligence. Or by Zionist moles in the Bush administration, allegedly calling the shots in the Middle East. Websites, magazines, documentaries, radio programs, dozens of them disputing the facts that al-Qaeda was behind the 9-11 attacks. It was done by a group of Zionists. There's no physical evidence to support claims that Jews were behind 9-11. But the speculation and rumors, mostly discounted here in the U.S., have gained momentum in Muslim countries, where they're discussed and believed. Deborah Lauder is with the Jewish-run Anti-Defamation League. What's most troubling is when it reaches the Internet and goes into the Muslim Arab world, we have this cross-fertilization of hate. And this is something we've never seen before. A whole web of beliefs has grown to support this conspiracy theory. One of the beliefs is that some 4,000 Israelis or Jews in the New York City area were warned by instant messages not to go to work on 9-11. Anti-Semitic or not, the question now, will this 9-11 conspiracy theory become like the Kennedy assassination, analyzed for generations as an unsolved mystery? Deborah Fayerick, CNN, New York.